In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Flutter library video player for your Flutter app. This is the app we're going to build today. It's a very simple app where we have the video player centered and when we press on the play button here, it plays the video. The sound also works and you can pause it or play it again. Let's get started. So we're going to use the library video underscore player. This is the current version. Just press on this to copy it to your clipboard. Then go to your pubspec.yaml file and underneath your dependencies, just paste it in here. Before we continue, we have the option to play a video in different ways. Either we can play it from the network, from a file or from our assets. I'm going to show you how to do this with the network and the assets. So for making this work with the assets, still in your pubspec.yaml file, go underneath Flutter here and then uncomment this line and then paste this in here. Then in your root project directory, create a new folder called assets and in there just paste the video in you want to use. Then run pubget, that's all we need for the setup for the pubspec.yaml file. If you want to use videos from the network which are not HTTPS but rather HTTP, you have to do a small setup step for iOS. For this, simply go to your iOS folder, then under runner, then open up the info.plist file and then just paste this in here so that you can also display HTTP videos. That's the necessary setup for iOS. If you want to play videos from the internet on Android, there's also another step you have to do. So go under your Android folder, then under your app, then under source, then main, and then open up the Android manifest and then just paste this permission into your Android manifest in your root tag. That's all we need to do for the setup. Now let's look at how we can use the video player. So first I defined a controller. This is nullable since we need to initialize it first and we do this in the init state function. Here, if we want to display a video from the internet, we simply say controller equals video player controller that network. Then we pass in the URL from which the video is being loaded from. And then once it's initialized, we're gonna set the state so that the first frame of the video is being shown in our Flutter app. Then of course, in our dispose method, we have to dispose our controller. Then for our layout, we define the center widget and in the center widget, let's check first if the controller is not null and also if the controller is initialized. If either one of those is false, then we are simply going to show nothing. But otherwise, if the controller is initialized and not null, then we can show the video player in here. Also, in our scaffold, we have a floating action button for our play and pause function. So for the icon, we check again if the controller is not null and if the controller is playing. So if it's playing, then we show the pause button so that the user can pause it. Otherwise, we're going to show the play button. If the user presses on the floating action button, then I defined a custom function here. So again, we check if controller is not null. Then we can force the controller because then in this case, we know that the controller is not null. So when the button is pressed, we set the state that if the controller is playing, we set the controller to pause. Otherwise, we play. And again, this is how the app then looks like. We press on play, on pause to pause the video. Now, if you want to play a video from our assets, in this case, the butterfly.mp4 file, all we have to say in this case, video player controller dot asset, and then the path to the asset, then we can reload the app. And as you can see here, this works like a charm. Also some small things to note is that here, this is how you load a video from a file. You simply then pass through the file. You can go to a specific point in your video by using the controller.seek2 and then position as a duration object. If you want to set a different volume, you can say controller.setVolume and the volume in this case is double between 0.0, .0 which is completely silent and 1.0 is the full volume. Also, you can set the looping to true so that the video, once the video is done, it starts again and starts again and starts again. I hope you liked this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below.